Relating unit rate to slope, lesson 3.3a. A rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units like miles and hours. A unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity in the comparison is one unit. So for example, 60 miles per hour. That's 60 miles in one hour. We've learned the slope formula. M is slope and it's equal to the second y value minus the first y value over the second x value minus the first x value in an ordered pair, and it's the rise over run. It's the change in y values over the change in x values, which means it's the difference between the y values over the difference between the x values. And the rise is how many units up in a triangle, a right triangle, and the run is how many units are going horizontally across. So the rise and run for this graphed line would be 2 over 1. The slope would be 2 over 1. That would be the unit rate. Find the slope of the graph using the points 2 for x, 4 for y, and 3 for x, 6 for y. Remember that the slope is the constant rate of change. We have our slope formula. We have our second y value as 6 and our first one as a 4, so we're going to do 6 minus 4. Our second x value is a 3. The first one is a 2, so we have 3 minus 2. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1. We have 2 for our rise, 1 for our run. The slope is 2 over 1. This represents a quantity of 2 for every 1 unit. So it could be 2 miles for every 1 hour, or 2 cookies for every 1 student. The graph shows the constant rate of change for miles that Dave hiked on a trail. Find the slope of the graph using the points 4 for x, 12 for y, and 6 for x, 18 for y. We have our slope formula. Our second y value is an 18. We're going to minus the first y value, which is 12. We're going to get 6. The second x value is 6. We're going to subtract 4, the first x value. We get a 2. We have 6 over 2, which simplifies to 3 over 1. The point, 412, shows 12 miles in 4 hours, which is a unit rate of 3 miles in 1 hour when we simplify it. The slope of 3 over 1 and the unit rate of 3 over 1 are the same. So this is the graph that we had for that problem. Looking at the graph, we see the line goes through the point 1 for x and 3 for y. If that's 2, this is 0, then this is 1 right here. And if this is 2 and that's 4, then this is 3. That means our point goes through 1 for x and 3 for y. That is the unique point on the graph that gives us the slope and the unit rate. It's where the x value is 1. We know he walked 3 miles per 1 hour. Remember, it's easier to find the slope of a line by using points located at the intersection of grid lines. For point 1, we have 1 for x, 2 for y, and for point 2, we have 2 for x, 4 for y. So let's plot point 1. That would be 1 for x and 2 for y. And that's exactly where these grid lines are crossing. We have the horizontal one crossing the vertical one. And at 2, 4, we have the vertical and horizontal lines crossing. So it's easier to use these points located at the intersection of grid lines to find the slope. And if we had used this point we would have had, if this is 1 and this is 2, that would be 1 and a half for x and 3 for y. It's much easier to use an intersection of grid lines. Since the x value for point 1 is 1, we know the unit rate is 2 over 1, and the slope is 2 over 1. We can actually count the rise and the run. We have 2 units for our rise and 1 unit for our run, it's 2 over 1. The unit rate is where the x value is 1, and the unit rate is the slope. If Bob eats two hot dogs in three minutes, the unit rate is two-thirds hot dog in one minute. We have two hot dogs. 
Here's one, here's two, and he eats them in three minutes. So this is our point. We have three for x, two for y. But our unit rate would be down here. Here's one for x, it would be two-thirds for y. It's not quite one, and it's more than half, so that would be about two-thirds. It's where the minutes are one and the number of hot dogs is two-thirds. The slope is two-thirds. It's two for the rise and three for the run. So for your notes, slope is m. It's the rise over the run. It's the change in y values over the change in x values. It's the second y value minus the first y value in an ordered pair. And the second x value minus the first x value. That's the rise over the run. It's also the unit rate. We're finished with 3.3a. We're going to move on to b, graphing proportional relationships. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.